I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will investigate a quadratic function and we'll find its domain and range. The question here is given f of x equals to x squared plus 3 if x is greater than equal to 0 that means that's the domain of this function find the range that is the first part. The second part is if x is greater than or equal to minus 3 but less than or equal to 1 find the range. So it is interesting to see that range of a function really depends on what kind of domain you are considering right so that is what this question highlights we have f of x as x squared plus 3 so I just uh, draw a rough sketch of a graph so it is uh, let us say this is the graph of our function right where if x is 0 then the value is 3 correct so this is 3 for us now the first part of the function is that if x is greater than or equal to 0 that means the value of x is on the right side in that case we have to find the range right so as you can see from the graph itself range in this case will be you see range which is represented by the y values will be that y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equal to 3 right because if x is greater than or equal to 0 f of 0 is equals to 3 right and as the value of f increases the function increases right so as as uh, x is greater than or equal to 0 it is it is uh, higher correct much higher so it is increasing all the time in its domain right so that is why we get this particular uh, range for the function now let us consider the second case where we are restricting the domain to minus 3 and 1 so in this particular case we are talking about the same function which is x square plus 3 let us find its values at minus 3 so if I write f of minus 3 what do I get I get minus 3 square plus 3 which is 9 plus 3 and that is 12 if I write f of 0 since I know the minimum value of this function is 3 right or when x is 0 if I write 0 I get when I write here 0 square plus 3 and that gives me 3 and for 1 for 1 the value is 1 square plus 3 or 4 so we get a point let us say this is the point which represents minus 3 and 12 so this point is let us say 12 for us at minus 3 at 1 we have a point let us say this uh, this is point 1 and 4 now clearly we are looking into the part of parabola which is from here to there right so these are the two points correct including the values now from here we can say the range is what so from here we can say range of this function in that duration is minimum value is 0 so we say y belongs to real numbers right where y is greater than or equals to 3 but it is less than or equals to 12 so if you restrict the domain range also gets restricted so that is kind of important to understand and you need to see the whole graph to find the range because the minimum value is not on the extremes extremes could have minimum or maximum also so you have to look for the minimum value or the maximum value as the cases I hope that helps I'm Anil Kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best